At the palace, the Duke has a lookalike body double, meant to confuse assassins. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker, if that helps. Maybe you can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. What a shitty job, pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. It's remarkable that people tolerate the Duke. He's got an army, control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crap. There were parties like that in Dunwall, full of toadies sucking up to me, stabbing each other in the back. Poor Empress. I could see those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know you grew up hard, Megan. I used to wander Dunwall with my face hidden. But when I got tired of it, I could always go back to the tower. Karnaka's given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. for black market shops for years here in Karnaka and over the color. So there's basically no risk. Hey you. You seem different. Can you help me out with a bit of coin? You're a good one. You know, there's a place near here, in some rocks behind a fountain. People have always left offerings there. That's where I started having those odd dreams. I don't go there anymore, but you might want to check it out. I used to have such visions. Dreams of black oceans and whales in the sky overhead. I used to live here a long time ago. Can you believe it? I was a songwriter. Poet. See you sometime. Duke's given the Grand Guard leeway to create new fees when you need now. Get you know who somewhere. else in a nice shop? Outsiders crocking cock! Drunk, from what I remember. Either you have the code, or I assume something's off. My boss's orders. 
to me. Uh, this time. People here are just keen on charity now that see you sometime. See what this says. This whole setup is a huge pain in the ass. Timing windows that ignore the tides, fake boat manifests, and private door codes. Might be easier just to play it straight, pick up and deliver goods. Anyway, so I don't forget it. The code for the black market shop is Sir Conan wine is better than Tibby in prison. Are you feeling more comfortable, Majesty? 
Are these the people you want running a quarter of your empire? No? They never seemed to bother you before. Maybe it looks different up close. Maybe here it's harder to ignore the way the people outside the palace get through the day. In any case, I know what you're after. The heart you carry can only hold one spirit at a time. So, if you want to walk out with a piece of Delilah, you better be ready to leave something behind. Greetings. I serve with discretion. Let's see, I have some upgrade plans for your gear. Prices reflect the exquisite quality of the items offered. want blueprints for better weaponry. I hope you'll think of me again. Conan wine is better than Tivian prisons. 
And better Crystallian clap than Morellian gout. All right. There's this old lady I helped a few weeks back. One of those bastards from the Grand Guard was harassing her for some stupid tax she had to pay to live this close to the palace. I should have signed on as an engineer in the wind corridor. This is the kind of luck I have, guarding blasted wind. Better here than anywhere else. 
And we get to do the job how we see fit. Nobody's pestering us with forms and procedures anymore. We collect the fees we want, and give out the beatings when they're needed. Maybe I can find another way to neutralize the Duke. I'm not sure it's worse, the Duke or his body double. One's half likely to have you flogged for looking at him wrong. Disgusting. The other might just bore you to death. for the Duke in his office. How do you know it'll get to the Duke? I just got this assignment, but yesterday I heard the Major talking about the Duke's political double. You don't worry about that. Besides, in the end, it's all the same. We serve the food, and the Duke decides who eats it. That's true everywhere. The Duke looks so disappointed. It's not about merit. The inner circle is packed with the Duke's pets. Lick spittles. At least I'm not one of them. Exactly. And think, when all this fighting over thrones is settled, the Duke's going to need men to take charge of the Northern Isles. By this time next year, you could be in charge of me. That sounded like... Broken glass. their faces unless they're up to something bad you've been warned I'm gonna call for help It 
seems the Duke has some of the Jindosh Clockwork soldiers. the same a mystery let's have it then who are you and what do you want listen i think you're the duke's body double you can't have any love for the man i'm here to end his rule and i have an idea you should hear all right you've figured it out but if you're not here to assassinate the duke what do you want it occurs to me that you might make a more agreeable duke than Luca Abel. If I wanted to depose him without having to slit throat, do you think you could convince people that you're the duke? That's bold. I have to admit it's crossed my mind. If people believed that I was actually Duke Abel and that he was the political decoy, we could have him committed for lunacy. We could convince everyone that the Devil's finally lost his mind and believes he's the duke. I spent years perfecting my performance. But there's a catch. He's got a medallion that I need. Even if I sound convincing, which should be the easy part, his Grand Guard officers will ask to see the medallion as proof. Luca never puts it aside. All right. It shouldn't take me long. Once it's done, I'll be leaving the city. Soon after, I'll send instructions from Dunwall, and I'll expect a great deal of flexibility and cooperation on your part. There's still time to pull Sir Konos back from the edge of the cliff. We can undo the damage Duke Abel has inflicted. I'd like that. But I'll guide Sir Konos in the ways I see fit for the people here, not as the hand-chosen puppet of your empire. If you agree with that, just render the Duke unconscious and bring him to his chambers. I'll handle the rest. <laughs>
Alpha. The quarry lost. Play back for combat protocols. Unauthorized Combat protocol detached. This must be the key to the Duke's vault. That's it then. Now it's up to me. I'll take the medallion and call them. I'll be watching. Break a leg. <laughs> Don't worry. I've spent years mimicking this asshole. Captain Almeida, come at once to my chambers. There's a problem. Quick, hide up there. Arrest this clown. Seems that he took his role a little too seriously. Get your hands off me. Work, man. He served me well for years. We'll never find anyone else who so bears my resemblance. Take him away, Captain. But be gentle. I think I understand your eminence. We'll handle it. What? This is outrageous. I'll have you all skinned alive and set in a salt bath. If only there was something we could do for him. I suppose all those years pretending it was me that eventually took its toll. No! Stop! I am the Duke of Sircurnus! You can't do this! Dr. Hypatia at Atomire will know what to do with the poor man. Hmm. I'm still trying to get my head around this. It's incredible. Huh? People of Karnaka, this is your rightful ruler. 
Empress Emily Drexel Leela Caldwin. Hey, you. Come here. I came here to Karnaka, the Jewel of the South, with one purpose in mind. To set things right with the Duke of Sirkonos, Luca Abel, who has of late been deceived by the pretender to my throne, Delilah Copperspoon. Duke Abel and I are old friends, and at his heart, he is a loyal ally and servant to the Empire. I am your Empress, but my father is Sir Conan, and your blood flows through my veins. I will leave you now and return to Dunwall, but know this. We have parlayed, and the Duke now understands the crisis in full. My hope is to restore my throne in Dunwall with haste. I bid you farewell, and ask you to maintain your faith and loyalty. I will address you again soon. This must be the Duke's vault. Let's see what Duke Abel keeps hidden away in here. Full instruction set. This is the thing Ashworth made to hold Delilah's spirit. You must release me from this dead vessel. Only then will you be able to trap Delilah's spirit. I don't know how I can do this. You were all I ever wanted. I stayed as long as I could, trying to guide you. The world is better for your influence. Be at peace, Mother. I will honor you, always. I love you, and this is the final thought I carry into the house. So it's done. Now to take the last step to go. To my, my half sister, sister only, only the flesh remains. I wonder if it was even really alive. Jesse is gone at last, faded into nothing. Her reward is peace.
shit. What was that? What's going on here? There, now to wait. Is that it? The fall of Karnaka? From now on, the Duke will be guided by better stars. Back to the dreadful whale, then, and on toward Dunwall. Yes, at long last, to take back the throne and find a way to save my father. Ready, then? Take me back to the ship. All right, as you want. I grew up with this broken skyline, the muted colors and the way the light falls. It's done well, but it's not. Have I changed, or does everything just look different when you're not wearing a crown? Whatever grand scheme you've got underway now, Delilah, you were smart when you stole this place from me. You knew who among my people to corrupt, and you took away my strongest ally, my father. But you didn't know me. You only saw a sheltered princess. You never thought I'd fight back. You don't know me, Delilah. But you will.
This remarkable what Delilah's accomplished, coming from such a background, taking the throne. You know where to go to find Delilah, but how will you handle her? It's my hope that you have some sort of plan. It could be tricky. She might not give me any choice but to fight, and Delilah deserves whatever she gets. At my age, I've come to distrust words like deserve. As I told you, I knew her long ago. Badly wounded, deep at her center, but cunning and looking for a way to pull herself up. Perhaps more than anything, Delilah had a talent for imagining the world as a better place. If only that could have been channeled towards something less twisted. It's probably too late to dwell on regrets. Yes, you're right. In any case, please watch yourself. I've come to care a great deal about you. Goodbye, Anton. She seemed cagey earlier, even more than usual. I wouldn't come back here. And that's twice I've broken it for you. That? Megan. People have called me that for a long time, but it's a lie. My name is Billy Lurk. Everyone's full of secrets. Why do I feel like you've got more to say? Yeah. I can't believe I'm telling you this, but you deserve the truth. I'll just say it. Fifteen years ago, I ran with a mercenary gang. We got paid to kill people. Some who deserved it, some who didn't. The boss pulled me up from the Dunwall slums when I had nothing and had run out of rope. I... This is hard to admit. Whatever it is, spit it out. Our leader was the assassin Dow, and I was part of the crew. Our last big job together, we were paid to... You helped Dow kill my mother? Yes. I don't know what else to say. I've lived a very long time wishing I could take that day back, but I can't. I can't ever forgive you for what you did, but suffering has a way of twisting people. You're a different woman today than you were then. Yeah, we've all been hurt. But not all of us did what I did or became what Delilah became. I know you'll never get over it, but neither will I. I hope not. Goodbye, Billy. I'm taking the skiff, and I'll go alone from here. I can't deny it. Traveling with you has changed me. I know you want to face her alone, but good luck. Remember, even if you pull off whatever trick you're planning for Delilah, she won't be easy to beat. I'm glad Sokolov was awake to say goodbye. How is it the old man cured the plague all those years ago, but can't eat without getting food on his shirt? In my time here, the Dunwall City Watch was just a bunch of drunkards and layabouts. No wonder half of them turned on you. Goodbye, Emily.
if old Samuel could see me now.